Welcome back to Introduction to Computer Science at SSFS. In this last series of videos, we are going to look at how to add images and sounds to our existing Pygame programs. We'll also look at how to react to key events, like keys being pressed on the keyboard to have something move around the screen. So what we're going to do is I've created a very simple uh, tree dodging game. And I'm going to have a car on one side and trees coming at the car, and the car has to try to not hit the trees. So here's a car class, and you can see a lot of this should be very familiar to you by now. We have an image, it's just a surface, it's filled with a red color, um, and then I've defined a move up and a move down method, so that the, when the key is pressed, the car will move up or down, and notice that it'll only move as long as the top bit is not less than zero, and again, it will only move down if the bottom is within the height of the screen. And again, there's also a collide method so that we can tell if, a, if our car collides with our trees. So most of this you've seen before. There's, there's really nothing new here. So let's go ahead and look at our tree class. And again, this should be very familiar. We initialize our sprite class. We've got a tree as a, as a surface. It's filled with a green color. The only difference here is that we've set the speed of our trees to be random. So each tree will move at a random speed between 2 and 10 pixels. And this move tree off screen method basically determines how far off the, the right side of the screen the tree will start so the trees will come in staggered. So one tree will come in and then another instead of all of them coming in, uh, in, in a row which would make it very hard to dodge. So you can see that it's uh, the left side of the tree gets set off the screen plus some random amount and it's also centered randomly um, in the window. We also have, have an update update method that says go ahead and move the tree. Notice it's in the negative direction because the, the trees will be moving from right to left so that's the minus direction for the X. And if the tree if the right side of the tree goes off screen we'll just move it back to the other side. So that's our tree. Not a lot new, just some ways to handle uh, the trees moving and going off screen. So let's look at our main, we call it a racing class. And there's a couple new things here we should take a look at. Uh, I set up my screen width and height and the number of trees I want to have on screen at one time. I create a sprite group for my trees. I create an instance of the car. I set the left side of the car to be 20 pixels away um, from the screen so that there's a little bit of a space between the left side of the screen and the car. So then I, I set the center of the car to be centered directly in the screen in terms of the, the Y direction. So it'll, be, it'll always start out in the middle of the screen, 20 pixels away from the left-hand side. And then here's where I create my trees and add them to my uh, tree group. So the first thing that's different in our while true event is that I have these um, if statements that react to what key is pressed. And so the statement is if pygame key dot key pressed is k up and k stands for key and then underscore up is the up arrow. I'm going to then do my move up method of my car. If the key pressed is down, I'll do the move down method. So these keys are going to control the movement of the car. The other new thing here is I have a weight. So if the car collides with a tree, so if it hits any tree in the tree group, it's going to stop. Okay, this weight basically just pauses the program. It's going to wait 4,000 milliseconds or 4 seconds and then break. And when it breaks out of this while true event, it ends the program and closes the window. If it doesn't collide, it updates the tree group, it draws all the trees on the main surface, blitz the car, and updates the screen. And again, that's the same kind of thing we've seen in the other animation loops. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. I'll run this, and you can see there's my car, it's a red surface, the trees are moving from right to left, and I dodge them, and if it hits, it stops the window for four seconds, and then closes it. So visually, it's pretty uninspiring, the, the animation is nice, the collisions work, but we need a way to make it look a little better. And in the next video, we are going to add uh, images, and we'll add a sound to our program as well.